A Treatise of Human Nature by David Hume. Book One of the Understanding. Part One of Ideas, Their Origin, Composition, Connection, Abstraction. Section Two Division of the Subject. Since it appears that our simple impressions are prior to their correspondent ideas, and that the exceptions are very rare, method seems to require we should examine our impressions before we consider our ideas. Impressions may be divided into two kinds, those of sensation and those of reflection. The first kind arises in the soul originally from unknown causes. The second is derived in a great measure from our ideas, and that in the following order. An impression first strikes upon the senses and makes us perceive heat or cold, thirst or hunger, pleasure or pain, of some kind or other. Of this impression, there is a copy taken by the mind, which remains after the impression ceases, and this we call an idea. This idea of pleasure or pain, when it returns upon the soul, produces the new impressions of desire and aversion, hope and fear, which may properly be called impressions of reflection because derived from it. These again are copied by the memory and imagination, and become ideas, which perhaps in their turn give rise to other impressions and ideas, so that the impressions of reflection are only antecedent to their correspondent ideas, but posterior to those of sensation and derived from them. The examination of our sensations belongs more to anatomists and natural philosophers than to moral, and therefore shall not at present be entered upon, and as the impression of reflection, passions, desires, and emotions which principally deserve our attention arise mostly from ideas, it will be necessary to reverse that method, which at first sight seems most natural, and in order to explain the nature and principles of the human mind, I give a particular account of ideas before we proceed to impressions. For this reason, I have here chosen to begin with ideas.